And g'day gamers, <clears throat> lovely to see anyone that's actually here. My name is Jimny and today we're going to be going on with our Starcraft saga, our battle raging across the Corporal Ooze sector with our favourite, with my favourite I guess, the Zerg. Now, when last we left off, Kerrigan had been reborn. She had gone to the uh, science vessel facility to actually retake some of her powers or some crap. Basically, she got Psystorm. But we're going to continue that now with uh, finding out what the human response to their space station being destroyed was. So, as we continue on... Let's see what that looked like. So we're in the Zerg and uh, the Battle of the Emergio. Emergio? Emergio? Uh, emerging something. Let's go. I do have some criticism I'm going to bring up during this video. So the ghost looks pretty badass. He's leaning, he's at the front, he's got his awesome laser sighted C10 canister rifle. I did love this cinematic when I was watching for the first time. The first hundred times knowing me. This is yep, night vision scope on a well lit. Uh, very well lit facility. Very sensible move there. And of course, knowing what we know of ghosts, he can stealth. point have said we're gonna blow it if we see a zerg that was a pretty clear indication there's zerg why are you staying there there's only a short walk back to the ship surely you can remote detonate this nuke why are you still there and if i was a ghost i would have immediately gone into stealth at this point cloaked myself now they're heavily influenced by alien scene.
don't like the way that ended because this ghost is meant to be this badass nuke launching operator who just freaked out and screamed as soon as he saw a hydralisk. To me, that made no sense. Do you feel that, Cerebrate? Protoss Disappointment here. at the video? Yes, I'm I feel sure. it. They have been for some time hiding. Protoss Commander, it was full of... G'day, Zeratul. Nice to have you, dude. For I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. I've always hated whenever they talk about like their abilities just in terms of power. My power has doubled. My power has increased. My power... Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you have specific abilities, but... I don't know if you've seen that South Park episode where you have the psychics and having that psychic battle against each other where they're just standing there going... Nye, 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 nye. Like, my psychic powers. Even in Star Wars, I'm saying, oh, my power has doubled. So, okay, but what are you doing? What, you're, you're dueling with lightsabers. How does it, does it mean you strike harder? Is that what your power means? strange about this Templar. Perhaps you should reconsider your attack. For the last time, Zars, you question my motives and authority at your own peril. You dare threaten a celebrate? You will be the doom of us all. So, Zars not happy to be challenged, it seems. Now, I, to be honest, I don't even remember this mission. I had a really, really good memory of all the missions leading up to this. I don't remember this at all. <clears throat> oh, wait, no, of course I do. This is the very first mission I ever saw of the game. No, I know exactly where I am. We get a lot of Protoss coming up these two ramps, so I'm just going to colony the shit out of this place and just go... I just spat all over my monitor. Uh, go heavy, heavy guardians. Now, where on earth... There you are. Where on earth? Where on char? Is my geyser. Definitely going to need... We've got so much money. Let's actually use it. Let's. Require more minerals. We don't really have that much money. How are we doing for overlords? Uh, okay, we're, we're slowly approaching the overlord cap. Once I hit 150, I'm going to get the range. Make these hydralisks a little more useful. Uh, the guardian sitting there should take out most of this. I'm going to mutate you guys as soon as I can as well. Now, this should be done by the time you get there. Nice. He's got the timing of a lair. I don't actually know why I did that. I didn't really need it at the moment, but we've used up pretty much all our gas now. We're about at that point where we're going to need another overlord. Are you guys queuing yet? I want permanent queue. I want a, a permanent A permanent queue. I can speak. What's happening at that guy's like, all right. Oh, here they come. Pick up your visual scanning. Here they come. One zealot. A paltry attack. Let's uh, just get something over here. I am going to colony the hell out of this thing. I'm just going to completely zerg turtle myself. Uh, we're going to need at least a sunken colony on either one of those points as well. Alright, oh, yeah. I forgot the spending thing doesn't happen until you actually land there. 75, really? It doesn't feel like it's worth 75 beans. 75 dollary dudes! To buy us! Alright, now, considering they can't come at us here, 
but they are going to send flyers, especially against my guardians. I reckon we make our first couple of spore colonies here. That'll provide us with the detection needed. We're going to need to spawn more overlords too. This is like the worst positioned hatchery I've ever seen. Let's get her down there as well. Because I think she's going to be able to do a lot of damage. Require more minerals. Stop telling me I need money. God, this is just mining so damn slowly. Maybe it's only when I stop, like, doing stuff. Doing stuff? Building stuff so that I can go out and kill, kill, kill. We don't even have an evolution chamber. The, the money actually accumulates. I think, like, the lack of efficiency in building in this game, just your ability to be able to crank out units way faster, you know, group up multiple buildings at once, I think that lack of efficiency actually causes you just to do less and thus have less production. We require more minerals. Now I need one more. Oh, he's such a cute little lava. I don't care who you are, that guy's adorable. Finally, we're allowed to do this. And then we're going to send you guys to do this. Now, go and buy the old three drone per patch thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I should have 33 drones. Go and buy the old efficiency calculation. Um, I don't even know if it's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've got 9 at the moment. I could have just done that. Yeah, 9 drones at the moment. 11 mineral patches. Let's at least just get 1 per mineral patch, yeah? Well, that's a pretty good idea. We are starting to build some cashish. Which I'm very, very happy about. Let's go start building some colonies. Let's really stick it to these mofos. Uh, I'm going to be a spore colony on this side. I mean, that guy can cover that for a little bit. You know what? I'm going to get a spore colony front and center because they're going to have to run past it to get to the sunkens, which are impaling their various Protoss bits and pieces. I think that's a good idea. Like, it's like putting a supply depot in front of a bunker. It just works. Uh, Kerrigan's going to be the one that needs this, so let's upgrade her. Require more minerals. I have more minerals. These things are actually quite expensive, but they do have 400 health. And I should probably get the Hydralisks moving. Nah, screw them. I just want to get flyers. It's the only reason I'm here. I should also probably get some queens, just to get some parasitic scouting going on as well. So let's get a couple more of these guys. We're going to send one to Mine Minerals. We're going to send one to... What did I decide you were doing? I don't think I made any decision. You're going to be a sunken colony, though. One of them to Mine Minerals. One of them to be a... Okay, all Mine Minerals until I have enough money to get a Spire. Oh my goodness. Please capture him. I really do want to get Overlord's site as well. I think I'll just leave that many mining. I think that's a good idea. And let's send, while I wait for the ability to build a Queen's Nest and a Spire, let's have you scout a little bit. Protoss are all down here from memory. And then Tassadar wants me to come and meet him, and then it's only a hallucination, and he messes with Kerrigan's brain. Alright, cool. There's that done. Uh, Queen's Nest, I think, should sit up. Nyaa. And then you, I'll turn into... Oh, here we go. The first big attack. Kerrigan, get your Zerg butt up here. So how am I doing with positioning there? So that... Okay, he's going to cop a lot of stuff. I'm going to need... Many more sunken colonies out that way. Oh, thank you for arriving. Completely late. Do not test me, Kerrigan. I have not the patience to put up with you. So, we're going to need a lot more sunken tentacles coming through this little entrance. 
They're probably going to attack me there now that I build all these up. Okay, so I pulled you two off. You two come back on, and then you come over here and try not to make a liar out of me. I really should turn one of them into a spore colony simply because. Uh, I'll make a spore colony there because they keep going to cover that entrance pretty well. And more drones. I am going to build such an empire of colonies. A colonial empire, I shall call it. Queen's Nest is done, so I can get the heavy. Fairly certain that's how it's meant to be pronounced. Yes! Plenty of room for a Sporius Columbus Maximus. That's the ancient Latin name for spore colonies. The Zerg actually spoke in Latin when they first spawned. Um, you're not really going to hit anything from there, are you? Do another one up there. Uh, you were going to be a spore colony. You were always going to be a spore colony. Let's, yeah, let's get our first queen. And we'll give our queen lots of energy so she can throw parasites and broodlings at all the things. I should actually get a second queen. Because spawn broodlings, my god. Does that affect attacks? Now, let's uh, get you to... I'll get you to hold position there and there. It allows you to attack anything that comes up the ramp. Now, if I build a sunken colony there, is it really even going to be able to reach? Like, I want it to be able to reach down there, but... I'm thinking maybe I should build a spore colony there. But I don't technically need anything there at all. More drones, more colonies. I didn't... I was not messing around when I said we are going to colonize the hell out of this place. Alright, so I've got you guys. You are now going to, okay, you're going to recover some energy with your weird noises that make absolutely no sense. Like, seriously, the ringing thing? What were you thinking? What were you thinking, developers? What is that even meant to be? We're going to spore colony there impede their progress as they try and slaughter us. We are just innocent Zerg. Hanging out on our home planet, doing nothing untoward. And the Protoss have come here for reasons unbeknownst to us. Uh, that's going to need to be a greater spy, which means you're going to need to be a hive. Slowly getting done. Oh, my colonies, people. Look at these colonies. Oh, they are so beautiful. I dare the Protoss to attack me now. Now, my upgrade for the Overlord site should be done. So we can move this guy down here, give us plenty of scouting. And you are also going to extremely slowly make your way down here. And you are going to make your way down here. So, let's uh, start expanding these resource nodes and centers. I'll put you up there. That'll allow me to free up some <clears throat> some drones from this duty of gas production. And I'll just be able to send them straight on to mineral collection. Oh, people, this is coming together. This is starting to look good. Once that's I'm going to get the greatest fire. Let's get some mutalisks while we're waiting, although we'll probably run out of money and wish we didn't do this in a second. I could have just done the old SD shortcut there, but I chose not to because I'm extremely inefficient. Spawn Brilliant is only a hundred beams. That's good to see. Oh, oh yeah, that just got done. I what that noise was. And this greater spy is only a hundred beams as well. I'm very happy with that. Oh, hello. Yep, yeah, we need... Ooh, where are you going? Kerrigan, we need you. The sneaky sausages. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? We're going to need a lot more colonies. And we're going to need more overlords as well. So, do that. Any Anytime, people. Anytime you're ready, I'd like you to actually get on the job of... Appearing so I can use some of these guys in a more efficient manner. Mineral. Mineral. You've been reassigned. Now I've now got three on gas. That should do. You guys. We are going to need to do a whole bunch of colonies down here to stop any further reaver drops. Because that was just uncool.
cool was uncalled for as well. Mr. Protoss people. Okay, so they can attack him from there, so I'll move him up slightly. Hold position there, that means they have to come further up to attack him. That's good, I'm liking this. Give me a spore colony, let's uh, prevent the Protoss from being able to come back and do that little drop tactic again. So you can do that, and then you can be like the one to kill anything that drops out of the shuttle, should they try that again. Of course, I've completely left this area open to attack, but... Whatever? Um, oh, you can all morph into Guardians, yes! This is going to be such an invincibly defended base for when I start... Well, I guess I have started building my defences, haven't I? Uh, let me see... Get another spore colony happening here. Oh, this is just turning into a death walk for all of them. I'm going to do you there. I have a feeling you're still going to be able to reach over to both ramps. Oh yeah, people. We are going to unload so much pain on anything that comes up these two ramps. Nothing has come up this ramp yet. That's disturbing me a little bit. You guys hold position there. Because I don't want you running out and trying to chase these mofos. You turn into a spore colony. Oh, let's just see you try that shuttle trick again. Where is your shuttle? Uh, okay. I think I should start sending the... What are you doing there? Seriously, why did I send you there? What are you doing? Hmm. I don't like when I can't explain the position of certain uh, troops. Look, let's make a sunken colony there. That'll cover that ramp. They're not even coming up that ramp. What am I doing? Let's increase the overlord speed because I spy an expansion with my tiny little eye. We'll get five muters once the money comes in. The overlord's going to get sped up. Actually, can Kerrigan get... No, I have queens. I don't even need to use mutalists to scout this area. Let's use queens. Are they doing anything? I've got my B and my R key hovered over. <gasps> they do. They do. They have... They have colonized my area. Brutally man. They have even got a reaper. That's very good. Maybe they use that as a staging area to launch their troops back off. Now, they've probably got more than one shuttle as well, so I can't rely. Okay, so that's that guy gone. That's their air defenses taken out. I think you know what's coming next. That's right, people. We are sending the terror of the Zerg flyers against first the Reaver, then the Zealot, and then we are taking over this expansion for ourselves. I remember I used to use Kerrigan for everything, so I used to send her out in stealth and kill anyone that was still there. Foolish, foolish of you to only have two anti-air things there. You had already seen I was going Guardians. Well, I, mean, I started off with two, but if you didn't know what I was doing, you would probably assume I was going Guardians. Even more Overlords, let's get them happening. Fairly certain that just finished as well. Well done, my forces of spooky doom. Okay, you are definitely coming to kill my mutalists. No point in parasiting you, because you'll be dead before you actually reach... Well, you're gonna die. You ain't getting out of here. That much is extremely obvious. Okay, they've sent a reaver up the front door. Let's get Kerrigan out there. I think they're going to try and walk him up and start taking out my colonies from afar. Oh, no, no. Thank God I upgraded speed. Damn it, Kerrigan. Start attacking him. <laughs> See, I probably should have put another spore colony down there. Let's do it. I don't trust this lack of spore defenses here. Oh, Protoss. That attack failed miserably. God, you must be so embarrassed with your command structure right now. So, this is all coming along really nicely. We are... We require more minerals. Okay, we don't quite have enough minerals to smash through the production. Oh, yeah. 
Sneaking deekies. They might, yeah, if they try and get Dark Templars through here, that could be an issue for me as well. How's my scouting guy going? Show me the entire base. Okay. So they're not going massively into anti-air. Tell you what, the difficulty curve really, really did increase from this to Brood War. Me some of them. You're still evolving. You're still evolving. Actually, can I just walk someone up there? I never actually figured that out. Oh, you've only got one upgrade on your claws, Missy. I think I, no, I had yes, already groups there. No, you can't get up there, can you? Oh, hello. Well, while you're here... The shields are now gone. What is it now? You now have an ouchy leg and head. Now all of you is ouchy. Get mm. one. Get one. Yo gonna die. Oh. No, they ran him away. Gosh darn it. I'm just gonna leave them. They've already been terrorized by the cloaked menace. They're not gonna want to come back and fight me again. Let's decloak. Get out of here. And that'll be my overlords. Get over here, sunshine. I need you to build me a new hatchery. Although, I probably should scout the area first. I may have an observer or some other stuff around here. I thought I upgraded your speed. Why are you taking so long? Let's continue with our mutalist production. See, a good commander would have figured out exactly what I'm doing here. Vespine guys are exhausted. Ah, they're back. I'm going to use my sarsalm on them. My newest ability. Is that the guy that was already hurt? Where'd he go? Come here, shaka. I'm just gonna leave her there. If they come back, she's gonna take them out. Now, you guys, how we doing? We're almost depleted on mineral here, so I'm gonna pull some guys. Rather than just building a new set of mineral collectors, I'm just going to pull these guys off. We're gonna need a gas geyser. Gas geyser? I mean, we've got a best man geyser. We're gonna need a gas production dude very, very soon as well. Uh, let's begin with y'all. How many more left? Yeah, you can hold it. Our forces are under attack. I knew he'd come back. There we go. So predictable. <laughs> Pathetic Protoss. Uh, now the Queens, you aren't doing much. I talked about doing my campaign of harassment. So let's begin harassing. We get some more scouting done as well. Let's make sure you guys are actually being productive. That has now begun. That is continuing. You guys are going to scout the hell out of the area. Oh, there is so much happening. Let's get some more mutalists. We have most gas. We are going to require more gas production before we really start doing anything in earnest. Is this another expansion? I think I found it. Outpost. So, you've got this little outpost down here, do you? A whole lot of anti-air here too. This has to go. Now, there's a robotic support... Sorry, there's a robotic facility which makes me suspect that they may have some uh, shuttles down here. Not nah, just a whole... Okay, so that's their Reaver production facility. Well, I'm surprised, because if they're building Reavers down here, then I would have thought that the shuttle would have gone there to pick them up, but I certainly know the area is scouted, which means no one must have gone down there. You guys are now on gas, because we need so much gas for our flyer men. You know what, build me out of that hatchery over here. I really should get defences up here too, because they're just going to know. I don't know how, but they always just know that I've done stuff. I could even make this, because I've got so much defence there, it's 
really out of control. This is going to be my staging area. Oh, wow, I have so much air. This is beautiful. All right, now what can you guys still do? You can do another Broodling attack, which I think I will do. That. Ah, don't attack her. You will also die for attacking her. Oof. Yeah, that's going to have to be a... a swiftly... brutally hit area. You guys... Come on, I upgraded your range for a reason. Very glad I put that extra spore colony there. These guys have no chance to survive. Make your time. I am going to upgrade your speed, Mr. Hydralisk, because I wasn't happy with how slowly you got there. Alright, my staging area is complete. Reavers will absolutely decimate that. There's really no need to continue waiting. But what the hell is that? Uh, you guys get back here. That's a big attack. You cloak yourself, because if I have to do this again, I'm going to be really, really annoyed. Very lucky I left her there. They, uh, oh, that's only 300 health. They must have taken that down from 400 at some point. Because that was absolutely stronger than 300 health back in the day. You guys can be that group. You guys can be the heavy air assault group. How did I not notice that expansion? There's another expansion. Th this game really wasn't that hard. Like, they just give you so damn much. I don't know why I struggled with it back in the day. I didn't struggle with it. I don't know why I actually didn't decimate everything back in the day. I'm having all the time in the world to go nice and slowly through this. And what just got completed? Oh, right. Hyperless movement, very good. That's good. You're now grouped up. Uh, you guys, wait up because that many of the goons will not be healthy for you. I'm going to require the acid spores of the guardians to really do any damage there. Uh, oh, I forgot to take you guys off gas production after all that. Gas collection. And I am going to build some defenses down here. Okay, I'm definitely getting out of control with overlords. Three more mineral patches, six miners, happy with that. They're in place. Let's begin. Give me a sec, I forgot to task these guys. Give me a sunken colony just in case anyone comes down and I will use the creep generated by that to build spore colonies. It has begun. Get back, get back. Damn it. Even with guardians. Alright, muters, get in. There's too many. Good thing I had all those extra muters. I've lost, what, three, four guardians. Potentially five guardians. Five guardians in that attack. Where are the other guys? Six. I only need five. Make you a sunken. Do not go too far out of the way. I need you to take any counterattack, which they are definitely sending. You guys come up here. Acid spores decimate the dragoons. My god, they really had a lot of guys in reserve. We've lost one of our muters. I think we may have lost one more of our guardians as well. Nope. We didn't lose our extra guardian. Now, this, I knew you guys would have completed, so get your asses up there. The creep has extended to the borders, so I can now start doing uh, this little expansion. They are trying to expand up here. So, what do we want to do? We want to. Uh, Kill him. Please don't tell me I just killed my own guardian doing that. Very sloppy movements. And get you there. Kerrigan is going to be summoned to this point. So I'm just going to unload her there now. That's when I actually take out the base. Um, you guys, I think, ended up losing someone else as well. I had what well, I left one here. There it is. 
So you come over there, you complete the group. My god, you guys move slowly. Is there like a hurry the F up Guardians upgrade that I can get a hold of here somewhere? Okay, they're done. So it's not massively defended, but it should hold things there for long enough to me to actually get the hell out if I need to. Uh, so she's there. That just finished Kerrigan's Claws. I'm not even really using Kerrigan in this. Can you, are you going to drop something there? No. Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? I see you. Okay, that's a little disturbing. I'm going to build more air because I have a lot more money than in the past. And hopefully they're done by the time that Reaver arrives because He's probably going to attempt. He can kill that guy in one shot. Uh, where's my lord? I want scouting. Where's that Reaver? What's he doing? Are they amassing for an assault? Seriously, you guys have seen that I'm going heavy air and you haven't done anything about it. Well, they're going to get killed. These guys have arrived just in time for me to... Uh, Execute this guy before he gets many shots off. He got one. Amateur hour. Really is amateur hour over here. So, let us continue this frontal assault. Well, actually, it's a flank assault. Whatever. We're going to keep killing these guys. What can you do with this Reaver? What can you... He can die. And can this one? That's it. Run away. Run away, scared little robot. You've now lost the high ground. It's over. I have the high ground. Okay, I've got the low ground now. Technically, your entire base is built on high ground, so that makes absolutely no sense. I see some minerales. I see his Protoss thing. What was that? <laughs> You guys massing for another assault? I see you. I see you. My sunken colonies require time to heal. They seem to be stepping up the frequency of their attacks. I don't know if that means they're getting more desperate or what, but... Maybe it's just like that's the strategy that the computer had for this. Well, I have scattered their... What's that? Oh, that's all good. They'll kill him, then they'll come up and kill him. That's completed. Let's get the second one. That's still going. No chance to survive. Make your time. Full group of muters defending the base. Uh, let's go burrow. No real reason. Just because I can. Whoa, I'm running out of money. What? Oh, yeah, I've only got, like, barely any dudes actually harvesting minerals and barely any minerals to be harvested. It's all good. I don't need money. i got more than enough to take out this Protoss menace. A whole lot of Dragoons. I've seen what happens when they get into action, so I'm just going to take two of them out. Uh, we've also got some scouts. Okay, we're going to run into a fair bit of resistance here. And I foresee attrition of my troops. So, let's start off with a broodling. Do we have anything on the ramp? We need to clear that area first. First one gone. I really do. Oh, crap. Nope, you guys got too excited. Oh, it's over now. Head in. And I knew you guys would be needed soon. Take care of these scouts. Their antimatter missiles are hounding me. I think we went well. I think we lost anything. Oh, that to speak too soon. We just lost the Guardian. We're about to lose another one. Okay, we've got their counter-attack coming in. Need those acid spores, gonna micro them away. They've also come in from that angle, we've lost another Guardian. 
Oh, they are throwing everything they've got at me. But the Guardians, they're just too powerful. I lost four? Gosh, darn it. Really wish I could Q command here. Whoops. I lost another Guardian. The Guardians are getting wrecked. And they took up my, I think they took up my most hurt mutilist. Screw it, I'm just taking out their power supply. They will not summon anyone else through that gateway. Oh, that crap. Back. Get back. Not doing too bad. Muters now seem to be taking the brunt ugh, of all the hits, which I'm not really happy about. We're going to need to reinforce these guys from the guys up here. Now, they were amassing zealots. I think they've brought them all back to defend the base. They have. You guys get down there. I need several of you to make guardians for me. To get rid of the... Oh, sorry, to replace the ones that were slaughtered. It's alright, you're being reinforced by a full troop of... Oh, that's where they're coming from. Let us depower their structures. I like to think that if you're depowering the structure and they're trying to come through the gateway, like the gateway closes and they die. Um, absolutely no proof or evidence of that. It's just something I like to think. Oh yeah. And your flyer carapace is now being done up again. You are now another group. You. Shall be this group and you three can hang in reserve. Always keep something in reserve. Okay, we've got a couple of things that are going to cause... Whoops. I read it as the end of the groups. Okay, we've got cannon that's going to be a problem there. I'm just going to get rid of all their pile bombs. Fucking deep power. Okay, they're not even summoning anything through the Stargate. That's another gateway, which is all good. I think they're out of air defense. Does it still warp in if they have no power? I really want to be a smart ass here and take out this before the cannons can fire. That didn't work. Ah, just kill it. That one stopped. What's that? Another Stargate. Okay, that was a bit stupid. I just like depowering the cannon shot. It's fun. Alright. Send in everyone. Full attack. <coughs> Run amok. Now I want you to focus fire any pylons they attempt to build. I don't see any. Their structures remain unpowered. Ah ha ha! I have found your forward operating outpost. It shall be slaughtered as well. It shall be depowered and then destroyed. Oh, you did have a second shot. I never managed to scout that. If only they knew that they had reported on themselves. Biggest dickers, get a mace. Sorry, I haven't been watching this at all. Do just have bouncy glaives? They absolutely do have bouncy glaives. Let's look at their glaives bouncing. Uh, I'll need them to bounce off something. I may have killed everything. Oh, you'll be able to see it at the other place. Well, you know what? Let's watch them bounce off these guys. Oh yeah. Bouncing forward to the other dude once they actually slow down enough for me to shoot. And down to... They did do a pile on those sneaky prawns. Now we'll get them over there. This mission is over, people. And we'll send some queens up to support Kerrigan. Because why not? What if I can actually spawn broodlings? We have taken them all down. Protoss, you have nothing. Come on, Tassadar. Where are you, you coward? It's highly possible I haven't killed everything yet. 
Oh, no, no. We got a cutscene. You, Tassadar. Do your underlings always do your fighting for you? This shall be our battleground, O Queen. Face me here, and I will defeat you myself. Already there, friend. Yep, that's done. Oh, alone. Okay, fine. Let's piss everyone else off. Guys, we're not welcome here, apparently. I didn't want to be here anyway. Yeah, she didn't take any damage. A hallucination. An illusion? Are you afraid to face me, Templar? So long as you continue to be so predictable, O Queen, I need not face you at all. You are your own worst enemy. Haha. <laughs> now I think we have to take out a Zerg force in this next mission. Yeah, we take out a Zerg force because it's gone insane. Then we start hunting the Dark Templar. You've got to be happy about that, Zeratul. Zeratul in the chat, not talking to the game. Insufferable Protoss coward. Tassadar cannot evade my wrath forever. I shall find him and cut it. Kerrigan. Zas is dead. Oh, it is a pity that Cerebrates cannot truly be killed. I expect that the Overmind will reincarnate him soon. No, he will not. The Protoss have devised some new attack. An attack powerful enough to nullify our reincarnation and give pause to the Overmind itself. So, Tassadar's plan was merely a diversion. I should not have underestimated him so. Without its master, Zas's brood has run amok and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Cerebrit, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. Hmm. Okay, we have issues. We have issues, people. The Zerg are running rampant against themselves. So, oh, we don't even start off with a base, that's lame. Uh, I shouldn't have put my smoothie jug there, I have to reach around it. <laughs> reach around. Um, oh, crap, no, they're not just... Okay, come back here. Okay, I think if I can position my uh, shooters there... Get you guys up here. Now, I am doing my removal at the moment. I don't know if I've told you I'm moving back to Sydney. And I do have, like, consultants and stuff coming to inspect how much stuff I'm actually moving so that I can do my removal. Um, if that guy turns up, I'm going to have to shut it down and help him out for a little while. And I've also got to go to a lunch. So, we're going to play until I have to leave. But, should have been time for that. I actually don't get why the Zerg, like, you can infest Terran structures, why can't you, you know, reclaim Zerg structures? I think that should absolutely be a thing. Let's get the hatchery going. What else should we get going? Let's get a spawning pool. Can't get a spawning pool yet. Let's get some creep colonies happening. For the attacks that shall inevitably come my way. You still had some forces here. See, it said the brood was running wild, but why the hell are they just waiting there and not attacking me? Um, I might just put the the old tried and tested guardian strategy on this one. Or I may have to get more creative. That's disappearing quickly. Uh, what else can I build? I can build an extractor. You do that, and my last drone, as was advised to me in the tutorial of the game, shall be a mineral gatherer, and you can't do a damn thing. You guys are moving so slowly, that's disgraceful. Well, let's have a look at what I can see. Am I on an island, is the big question. I have a feeling I might be. Look at this river of fire, protecting me. 
Okay, we're not at protected. Oh, hello. You shouldn't have left him out there. Let us begin. Oh, that was stupid. You let this pretty little thing to get his face smashed in. And let's actually group you up. I really shouldn't have put my jug there. When I had it up there, I wasn't drinking out of it. Which, you know, that's the whole point of it, is to keep me healthy and stuff. And breakfast. It's, um, it's nearly midday. I still haven't had breakfast yet. I'm so efficient at life. I'm in that stage at the moment where I'm having to oh, move. Saw that coming just in time. And it looks like that is a straight shot to my bait. Yeah, it is. All right, so there's one avenue through which they can attack me. Is that in the way now of my face? Uh, no, but it kind of looks gross. Because it is gross. Uh, what if I move you? Do I ever move if I do this and I drink you? Mmm. Derishish Pre's healthy goodness. My god, so many things are happening. I don't have time to stop and think. Require more minerals. And I'm finally out of money. Alright, muters. I want to continue scouting. I want an expansion. I want it now. More and more guys coming in. Spawning pools. Oh, dude, you think they sound awesome? Sorry, you think they look awesome? Have a listen. Have a listen to how cool this sounds. Oh, listen to the, the dripping. I can't even imagine what that would smell like. Oh, they really knew how to make <clears throat> cool, immersive, atmospheric sounds in this game. Okay, so there's nothing in that corner. Uh, have a look down there. Really do want an expansion. I don't feel comfortable having this limited supply of minerals here. Uh, what else am I doing? Spawning pulls out. That's done. And I'll need a hydralisk again as well as soon as a posse blade. Require ah, I found another little outpost. I think I remember taking this out and that became my expansion. I mean, I've played this a lot, but not for a very, very long time. I have a feeling. So, Zeratul, let's also have a look at what it looks like in the updated. Yeah. Still a bit cartoony. Ugh. Oh, can't even imagine what's going on in there. Well, I mean, I can imagine. That's the problem. Uh, I'll need an evolution chamber. I need a high... So many things. Require more minerals. So I think I might go hydras and muters and maybe oh I'll go muters and guards. I think it'll be pretty safe. It's like a winning strategy. So let's have a look at how much is available here to kill. Quick flyover, make sure there's no there we go. Or colony and hydralisks. You get back, come back around. There's not a lot that can take me out here, but there's enough. Get back, get back, don't die. You'll become a guardian probably. See, there's the bouncy thing hitting this hydra. Very, very, very slowly whittling, <coughs> whittling down his health. Good. I was hoping you'd come down that far. Go do my bidding. Oh, we're being attacked again. We're really having a micro a lot here. Okay, you guys did good. Uh, get your speed upgraded because you're just embarrassing yourselves with how slowly you move. 
Get back. You guys are on the brink of death right now. He shall be your leader. No! You weren't meant to do that. Ah! This is getting out of control. Damn bouncing black worm. Okay. That didn't go brilliantly. I lost more than I wanted to lose. Let's reinforce our position because... Well, I mean, you know, the game's getting on. It's not going to continue to be easy for us. And you can get me a queen's nest. While we're waiting, we may as well upgrade level 1 flyer attacks. And we'll just do a spawn of sunken next to each other at the entrances here. Require more minerals. Require more minerals. We are going to have to go back and take that as soon as possible. There's far too much ground defense, and I have a feeling because the spore colony's got so much help, we're going to get shredded if I try and send my muters in there alone. Require so I am going to need to head back in there with, I reckon, some guardians, maybe some zerglings. I don't know, I'm not going to upgrading zerglings. I've already got the spire. There's the queen's nest. Very shortly, I'll be upgrading to a hive and a greater spire. We'll be fine. Let me see, I've got to replace some workers. Uh, you're close up the mineral patch, so I'll turn you into a spore colony, and you can be a backup sunken colony to take out attacks from the east. You can also come in here and... Okay, i got a phone call. i got to take... I'm going to mute it while I play. Hello? Oh, hi, Patrick. This is Herman from the... Require more minerals. Require more minerals. Evolution complete. Evolution complete. Sorry about that team, I've just got removalists and all sorts of removal admin turning up every five seconds. Now, we have replenished our mutalists, we are going to go- Oh crap. See, I like talking tough, and then I get my ass handed to me as soon as I start trying to talk to the camera. See, those are glandlings. They're zerglings with this adrenal gland upgrade, and they- yeah, look, sunken colonies are pretty much useless against them, so we're going to have to strike our defenses. Hydralisks are extremely effective against them. Um, I need another evolution chamber. I'm definitely evolving way too slowly here. 
I like this, like, I was just talking to the last game about how stupidly easy it was, and now I'm getting my butt handed to me, so... It's good to see these things advancing and changing. Only grips of hydralisks at either end. And... Oh, you are so damn slow. I don't think I need to do any transporting of stuff in this particular map, and we do have an extra mutilisk. We are going to turn you into a sunken colony. We're going to get another mutilisk happening. We're turning you into a sunken colony. God, why are you just sending one dude? That's just stupid. We're going to get our Hydralisks <clears throat> as efficient as possible. Guardians are now ready to go. Flyer attacks are going to come in next. Why the hell are you sitting there doing nothing? I do want a couple of more Mutalisks, like maybe six, and then I'll have sort of two Guardians to go up and slaughter that Spore colony. You'll be in a more prosperous land soon. Yes, Sydney is ridiculously more prosperous. Although I went into just my local gun store today and I saw this shotgun that I just fell in love with. I really, really want it. Um, if any of y'all are interested in googling it, it was a. Sorry, I got people asking about furniture that they're picking up from me. I really shouldn't probably be streaming right now. I should be doing all this work, but hey, screw it. So it was a Sulin TAC-12 M4. Um, I can apparently get it in a seven shot capacity too. That's good, that's enough. All right, we're gonna come down here. You are absolutely gonna morph into a guardian because you're half dead. And we want that free health boost. And I think we have enough. We have enough we need to upgrade some more things. What do we need to upgrade? I mean, that's all good. About to be supplied. Well, thank you very much, Zeratul. Good eyes. Also, lot to. Yeah, so it has been. I'm going to need that for the Guardian upgrades. I think it's 100 gas per upgrade. Yeah. 100 gas for each Guardian. They're now good to go. Thank you very much for the Overlord tip. What the hell are you turning into? Once those muters are there, we're going up and we're going to take this expansion. We're going to slaughter this objective and anyone that gets in our way. I also forgot to build hydralisks for the other defensive position. Uh, let me see. I'm going to have two hydralisks to defend here. Which really is just bad commanding, but whatever. You're here. Okay, you can be that group. You can be that group. Let's start moving in. That one Hydralisk is now out. You two can also become Hydralisks. I really, I really miss having that command where you can actually just move them somewhere after spawning. It looks like a Benelli. Oh uh, yes, yes, the shotgun does look a bit like a Benelli, but oh god, the guy I was talking to in the gun store said so he put about 300 rounds through it on the weekend without a single jam issue at all. Like, just went... Ow. Okay, this was not a good strategy. I should have had more guards. I immediately regret this decision. Get in there, do that. Oh, we have so much to take care of. Have they even done it? Alright, get back, get back, get back. Don't get too excited just yet. I... Yeah, that was a good decision to move those there. What just got completed? Flyer attacks. You guys can get over there. You can defend this area now and give me more mutilisks. Convert because, yeah, of course, that really wasn't enough air power, air to ground <clears throat> to really be effective there. I'll pull your back. See, as I told them, I'm already out of s being gas. I knew this was going to happen. It's just such a cost-intensive strategy. But also, so well proven. Everyone get back. Sending way more Hydralisks than I expected. And we now... Did I only morph two? Oh, please don't tell me I... What the hell are you doing? You know, for someone, like for a brood without a leader, they seem to be remarkably well-organized. 
Gosh, Donna, this staging area is turning into the actual battleground. Is under attack. That was from a long way away. Is that another guardian? What was that? I saw something. That's a lot of guys. All right. Gonna get a few more guardians out of this. We're gonna heal you guys. You. Oh, that literally where the ramp is. And no wonder they're going crazy from that angle. I'm such a good player at this game. Alright. Alright, everyone's bruised a little bit, but I think they blew their wad with that trying to attack me. Zeratul, I ran out of Overlord. Where were you on that one, my brother? Yes, I would like a Benelli M4 as well. Um, pretty Beretta ones. I don't think I've seen the Beretta shotgun, but I'd definitely be interested in seeing what they look like. I really wanted to get it before I left here as well, but it's going to take about a month. I also found I have some antique uh, World War One Vintage 303s down there as well, and I have every intention of getting one of them because it's been my dream gun, like, forever. You can be that group. You can stay that group. You can become that group. All right, and F2 doesn't work to bring up my forces. Okay, they should have blown their wad with that amount of hydralisks they sent at me. So, now that I have a little more brain space, the attack shall continue. Oh, the mayhem, the havoc. Does anyone else reckon they should have had, like, green blood for Zerg? Because, like, red blood works for humans, I think. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't have looked as believable if it was green. What just got completed? Uh, okay. Actually, what the hell am I doing that for? I'm not even building Zerglings. Get back! The whole reason I brought Guardians up here was so you wouldn't... Uh, and you guys are now deciding to go and be heroes as well. What the hell is that Overlord doing? He's just like trying to feign me out or something. We're running low on gas. That geyser must be exhausted. What? Yeah, guys is exhausted, we're only getting two things per per delivery. So this uh, expansion took me a lot longer to get than I would have liked, but hey, here now. Woo! Okay, so my star evolution's now complete. I got one of my guardians, but I clearly wasn't micromanaging them well enough. They are the only thing that can take our eggs efficiently though. Okay, stop harvesting those minerals. They are my minerals. You get the hell back. No, I'm sick of you people trying to be heroes. You are not being part of a team here. I want to see more teamwork, less individual heroic action. If you are actually capable of doing something like, you know, charging a machine gun nest and taking it out by yourself, Fair enough, I'd say come on in. More heroes wanted, not enough heroes in this group. How are you not doing that? So you just died? Okay, I did kind of send you up there by yourselves, that's sort of my fault. Still desperately trying to airlift every last troop they have up here. Okay, I think it's time to move a group of hydralisks up here. Provide air uh, to provide anti-air support. This area shouldn't be getting attacked as much anymore. And I definitely need more... Mutalisks. 300 gas required for that one. You guys are there. Now, let's get someone immediately working on a new hatchery. I'm noticing I'm not having to build like four or five hatcheries in this game well simply because you can't produce as quickly as you can in StarCraft 2. Where are you going? Come here. Get him before he drops him off. At the very least I'm making it very, very inconvenient for the computer to keep building that stuff back up. Alright, uh, we're going to get one more guy over here to build an extractor immediately, and then when that hive is done, 
What was that? I saw something over there. They're trying to come at us from the other direction, team. Three and two. Three hundred dollar dues if I want to continue to upgrade the carapace. Gas dollar dues. Uh, let's just get you guys, because I'm only going to need three once this guy becomes functional. I see you. I see you down there. There we go. So they're coming in. My little hydralisk strategy has proved quite effective. Sucking colony survived. And y'all get up here. When this thing finishes, just get in there. Start getting gas now. I don't care if you got to take it a lot further than you otherwise would have to. There's also a few too many people. Uh, people? A few too many drone mining minerals over there. I do have a great mineral supply, and it would make a lot of sense if I went Zerglings at this point. Google Beretta 1301. Thanks, John Howard. I know, right? If you're interested in being envious of the Americans about something else, I don't know if I need that many more things to be jealous of Americans. If you said the price of some of these things over there, you'd be jealous as it gets. Oh, no time for Googling Berettas now. They're sending Hydralisks at me. Good thing my Hydralisks are there to combat them. Get to afford two more Mutalisks now. Uh, what am I doing? I'm finding a... I have 24 tabs open on my phone, but I need them all. Single Zergling, very interesting attack. Alright, so what am I googling? Uh, Beretta... Ah. Autocorrect is playing hell on the now. 1301. Evolution complete. That would have been fly carapace level one. I need more gas, but I'm almost there. Beretta 1301. Uh Beretta 1301. Oh, that's a pretty looking gun. Yeah, this one with the pistol grip. It's very similar to the one I'm looking at. Oh, that looks nice though. See, so they've all got Picatinny rails on the top. What I really like about my current shot is the Picatinny rail is underneath, and so I can mount a torch and a laser sight really easily to it. Uh, 24. What did I say about 24? Remind me? Sorry, I sort of drift in and out when I talk. Um, Alright, resource collection is doing good. That's being upgraded. I screw doing the armor upgrade. Um, one more guy harvesting gas because it looks like we could do with a little bit of a queue happening up there. Gonna bring two guys back. I got so much minerals. I don't really need to worry about this. So many minerals. I do need more guardians. That is not a sufficient attack force for guardians. I need more muters. I need more gas and. You can be a muted group. What I really should be building is a queen to go and scout for me. And I've hit the overlord cap. 24 tabs and you've... <laughs> yeah, okay. No, look, I try and keep it under 10, typically. Um, you could have been talking about the tabs open in my head on a daily basis as well. There's typically about 72 of them and... Three aren't responding and somewhere there's music playing in the background. Alright, a few more muters. We're doing good, team. We're doing good. We're going to be able to go out and do an attack very shortly. I think eight guardians ought to do it. Everything's coming together quite well. So there's my eight guardian attacking force. There's my muter backup. And they're completely full. So, where's my queen? Let's go and do some scouting, miss. Should I get the energy? Yeah, because I do use it a fair bit. I do love how you can spawn broodlings on ultralisks as well. It's just, um... It's unfair. Alright. Okay, we found their base. We're already getting attacked. We're seeing an attack coming in. You two get up there. Oh, crap. Just happened to catch them in an air attempt. I need to get one of their overlords because the computer never leaves their overlords just sitting there. They are always patrolling. Uh, let me see. I'm, yeah, I'm getting some good gas. Ugh. 
This base looks pretty well defended. Spore colonies everywhere, my god! Locked up tighter than a nun's nasty, this is. Oh, there was their queen. She parasited me. Parasite her. Damn it. Alright, you can have one. Uh, you get down there. There's nothing they're really gonna get out of me out there. Oh, good bit of gas for some evolution. The hell, I thought I had 200. Lots of minerals. Yeah, the original queens were actually flying units. And they spawned, they didn't do any healing, they didn't do any, uh, what is it where they spray, like, extra lava on the nest? They did parasites, which allowed you to have vision completely around the unit. Um, what are we doing, what are we doing, what are we doing? We've got you, you're gonna become a guardian. Well, these attacks are kind of useless, but they're sent me out at me. These guys haven't really done anything up here either. But they haven't attacked us. Look, I reckon we start on this right side and start working up to kill... <coughs> dying. Uh, work it to kill them from there. So... Our guardians are now in play. I do have 300. Can you please not make that freak? What the hell did I just accidentally make? I think I just made scourges accidentally. Because I hit like S and then S again. Uh, I'm having a Barry Crocker of an effort right now. Alright. Attack group is still there. They're still coming in. Yeah, why not? Just... Get over here, you can take out any flies that come in. You are my accidental brood. And to be fair, you kind of look like an accident. Um, all that blurred, and that's how they ended up looking. That that just looks weird. I actually like that. Like this sort of static thing sitting in a pool of strange mutated blood. I think that looks so much cooler. Like, it looks like something that would suicide and explode and just wreck your day. Now there were Hydras up here. Good thing about having to come out of Burrow is they're done for a couple of seconds and this many Guardians dropping acid on them means if they get any shots off at all, it ain't gonna be many. Okay, now we get these guys up to support them. Should probably get the Scourges up here as well because they're gonna be able to kamikaze anything that attempts to attack them. Move back. Don't allow yourselves to be vulnerable. Hey, uh, your first target. Alright. Now, we didn't see many more anti-air defenses in here. No, not all of you. <laughs> I love that because he had picked people up. That was an Ultralisk. They are not mucking around. No, I was continuing production. Used to have hundreds of tabs open. Guys, is that even possible? Because you always get in the habit of half reading something, thinking, hmm, this is really interesting, and then leaving the tab open and then sometimes taking months to get back to them. Yeah, what I typically do is if it's been open for a week and I haven't read it yet, I put it in my favorites and then I close the tab. Um, swarm, yeah, I really should do some lings. I mean, I've got the ability to upgrade them as well. I'll tell you what, I'll start upgrading the Zerglings first. And then once they're fully upgraded, I'll just... I'll start building them now. Yeah. Okay, fine. Select S. I'll stop building muters. I'll keep this attack force going and I'll just get a whole lot of lings and cream them. You two... Ooh, I hear something being picked up. So the Guardian group is good and big now. The Muta group is being reinforced and is once again complete. Zerglings are complete. So yeah, movement and adrenal glands at the very least. And I wouldn't mind at least one upgrade to their claws going on too. Now let's continue to take out this expansion. I tried to make a cupper and there's no milk. Horrible. How am I supposed to get the tea back into the pot? 
Um, I think if you use your mouth, it works really well to like uh, absorb the tea and then spit it back in. I'm like 72% sure that will work. Uh, what evolution is completed? Okay, guys, that guy I talked about is now turned up. I am going to have to pause the stream, so uh, I'll be back shortly.
Alrighty, peeps, we're back. The guy has come. He refused to shake my hand. I think it was a COVID thing. Could also be because I uh, smell. I've discovered deodorant. I just haven't really learned how to use it yet. So, let's get back into it. I am going to have to bail after this mission because i got a lunch thing. But... Oh, sneaky prawns. Get back. You are meant to be hit by my impenetrable wall of guardians. The Zerling production continues. How are we doing on upgrades? They're, okay, they're going pretty slowly. Um, not going to really bother with spawning broodlings because this is just an all-out attack now. So, Guardians can now move in. We have a couple of spore colonies to worry about, but what I reckon... I think I should bring in... Oh, wait, I haven't even upgraded it. How have I? I've done nothing. Pneumatized carapace hasn't even come in yet. So I'm gonna move some overlords up. Check out what's underground. And how's this thing going? Okay, that's done. Zergling movement speed is coming in. And then I'm gonna send swarms of zerglings up to take out anything that's burrowed underground here. Although looks like it's all gonna be killed before I get a chance. Don't go too close. You went too close. Like, considering I'm low on it commanded you, I can't really ping that on you because it was all my fault. Alright, we have our first bit done. Now, how are these Zerglings actually going? How many have I got? Oh, my God. Oh, I do love watching the acid spores just explode these things. Alright. You guys, I'm sick of you running up there. Hold position, don't move. Claws are now done. Speed's gonna be on by the time they get up. So, let's begin. Let's send some Zerglings up. Hey, you sneaky little guy hiding behind the thing, thinking I wouldn't see ya. So, the Zerglings are now going to tear it all up. There we go. See, I'm finding all the stuff that was hidden and burrowed underground. Okay. Overlords are now moving a lot faster. Let's give them some antenna to see faster. And let's buy more of them. What are we under attack by? So I figured once the overlords arrive, they're going to be revealing some burrowed units for me. Nothing yet. Okay. Where's my scout? Queen, oh yeah, she's got a parasite on her, I don't know I'm coming. Not that it really matters, because I think like the computer sort of knows everything I'm doing, regardless of whether I've got parasites on it or not. So there's not a whole lot there. What do you reckon, Zeratul? We send the Zerglings in to be slaughtered. I think it sounds like a good idea. These upgrade really, really fast. I'm actually quite impressed with the speed at which the overlords upgrade. Okay, let's just start sending these guys in. See how much damage they can actually do. Oh, we're doing pretty good. And we're not even really going to need that many overlords because they're going to get killed as they go through. What's this? I see you. I see what you're trying to do. Ah, oh, they're picking people up to deal with the Zergling threat. Well, if they're going to try and take you guys out via air, I'm going to have to slaughter you the same way. Uh, what are you trying to do? <laughs> see, I didn't take everything with me. I left some in reserve. Always keep something in reserve. Never any of this full attack rubbish. Okay, so their counter-offensive has well and truly failed. Cleared that for the Zerglings. Kill that thing. God, Overlords really do take a long time to die. Okay, all the Zerglings died. And you didn't even take out the... Sp what did I even hire you guys for? Zeratul? I've decided to take... I own you for that. Because it's completely unjustified. 
Go and do what I tasked you with. You've got double upgraded claws now. There really shouldn't be an excuse for you guys failing in any sense of the word. Let's see how many they can get. Everything. Full attack. Go in. Even after I just got finished saying, is this guy going to take me out? They've only got one and one upgrades. That one Zergling took out a freaking Hydralisk. Hey guys, take out this. I don't really care about Hydras. I don't care about Guardians. I only care about that because this attack squadron is now going to come in and deal with this. You guys being sent to deal with the Guardian is about as effective as bits of bread being sent into a pond to deal with the ducks. Oop. And we've found these things. Okay, Guardians now coming in. Let's see how much damage they can do. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the way they cleared the path for it. There's a Hydralisk buried. Let's kill a Hydralisk. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't actually give you guys the ability to carry anything, did I? Okay. Ugh! This is it, team. They're all... That's not very fair. The old 1-1 one, one upgrade is nothing to my 3-3. Three, three. Alright, do I have any Zerglings left over? Let's just get a few more Zerglings happening first. Move you in the way. I'll upgrade the Ventral Sacks. I'll get you some Broodlings, because I did see an Ultralisk up there. You get back. I am so sick of you Mutalisks trying to be heroic on your own. Ow. They're coming in. Alright, I need to get rid of this spore colony. If we're going to have any chance of taking the rest of this stuff out. Take that out. Kill that. Kill this thing. I'm not happy with any overlords being here at all. I think those Zerglings have had enough time to mutate now. Let's get them up here. Well, that was just a waste of money, guys. What are you doing? Hey, Spore Colony. Take that out, and we should be free. <laughs> Is that all you guys have got? You guys hang out. Hey! Look what you guys tried to do. You tried to grow some bollocks, didn't you? Oh yeah, his Zerglings are going to sent up against that. Well, let's see what the Zerglings do if I swarm them up this way. Threw that 1-1 one, one lings and nuts with a metabolic boost. I do love Adrenal Glands. It's probably my favourite upgrade in the entire game. I got parasited. Oh, I guess that's the kitchen sink approach, isn't it? So the Zerglings are now just running a muck up there. They got rid of their Ultra List, I noticed. Kill that. I really can't see these guys doing much to uh, get there. Get all of them. Damn it, Mutalisks trying to take on freaking spore colonies by themselves again. Oh yeah. What was that spore colony? Take that out. Ooh, there's two of them. I don't really care about the Zerglings being under attack. Uh, okay, so you can't get there. Alright, everyone burrow. Well, you found something. No, you didn't. Yeah, you can come in that way. Alright, cool. So, all of my gorgeous little Zerglings. Get up there. Uh, 
Alright, uh, did we clear all them out? Cool. You guys continue to slaughter in that direction. All the Zelvins are pretty much taking care of it for you. Mutants. Slaughter that Guardian and kill the other one as well. I didn't appreciate my Zerglings being killed. Guys, make use of yourselves. That's right, Guardian. You can run, but you cannot hide. It really wasn't a very big brood. I would have thought like a brood is millions and millions and millions of Zerg. And also, how come the Overmind can't get control of this shit? Like, he's called the Overmind. He's meant to be able to oversee everything, right? I mean, yes, I'm aware Overmind and Oversee are two different words, but my point remains. Overmind should absolutely have been able to get control of any way with Zerg. But, you know, the Zerg raged out on uh, Aya after this. Not because of the frickin' uh, Cerebrates' death, it was because of the Overmind's death. They even talked about how Cerebrates were still on Aya controlling them. So, what the hell, says I. Ooh, okay, I left my Mutalisks a fair way away from them. That wasn't very smart. Good thing they got three armor. I think they actually start with one, two. They got five armor. The hell did I even loot them? And then the Zerglings can't do any more. This is their last little bastion up here. And screw it. You guys can go and do that now. If there's anything left by the time these guys get done with it, there will be. We're only going to get one barrage of spores off. That should be done. That should be wiped out. I uh, don't know much about Outback Queensland. Um, I mean, I've lived in uh, Oki, near Toowoomba. Um, I've lived in Rizzi. I've lived in uh, Townsville. I guess that's Outback, but like not really much inland. Uh, uh, let me see, I've got a lunch to go to, but not for a little bit. I reckon I can start the next mission. We're going to start the next mission. We'll Save it halfway through. Now, I like this mission. This is where we kill Dark Templars. Behold, my long silence is now broken, and I am made whole once more. The cunning Protoss have dared strike down that which was immortal. <laughs> oh, yes. For the Protoss who murdered Zaz are unlike anything we have faced before. These Dark Templar radiate energies that are much like my own. And it is by these energies that they have caused me harm. Yet shall their overweening pride be their downfall. For when the assassin Zeratul murdered Zaz, his mind... <laughs> no, they're all dying. Mine, ...and all his secrets were made known to me. I have taken from his mind the secret location of Ayer, the Protoss homeworld. At long last, my children, our searching is done. Soon we shall assault Aya directly. For now, we must ensure that the Dark Templar can cause no more harm. Celebrate, you shall set a trap for our foes. Kerrigan will lead them to you. Nice! That sounds like an awesome idea, Biggest Dickus. A trip around Australia. Um, I'd highly recommend it. I was trying to do one from the Northern Territory down to um, Perth. I was going to see, like, Karinji National Park. I was going to see all the national parks. I was going to see all those... Oh, hello, Ultralisks. You thought pretty. There's a... Uh, it's a good mission, but there's there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things happening here. Uh, what am I doing? I'm starting to build up this, and I want you, and I need you. Is no one mining? Okay, there we go. See, the thing I like about this is you can just send these guys straight back through the Nidus Canals. Okay, there's my gas production. Uh, you guys can come in here. Our forces are under attack. Yes, Keep Kerrigan there. I really do need to get these guys upgraded as fast as 
possible. So I don't even think I have a spawn pool yet. You guys <clears throat> can go and reinforce this area. And I'm going to need a spawning pool and a hydro to down as fast as possible. Now, I had someone else message me about wanting to come and pick up a shelf, so I need to go and figure out what time they're coming at some point. Kerrigan, I... Good lord, she's been hit hard. Um, keep the overlords there, because that's the path the Dark Templar run along. Don't ask me how the hell they figured that out, considering they're invisible, but... They did. Okay, we have enough money for a spawning pool. What I really want to do, what I think I remember doing on this, is I actually built a hatchery here and then got a crap ton of creep colonies. And there's a strange van pulling into my driveway. Oh no, they've gone to my neighbours. It's all good. Uh, disgusting energy drink. Move you there. Uh, I might actually put that in the fridge. I'm waiting for all this stuff to be completed. Ooh, there's gas. Damn it. No, return that. Come here. Mind me gas, my pretties. Uh, I'm so tempted to just start doing the hatchery now, but I gotta just be a little bit patient. Ultralisks, they're gonna be able to do good stuff. There. Uh, Spawning pool's done. Uh, let's get the Hydralisk Den done. Start evolving that. Let's also get an evolution chamber happening. <sighs> so many things need to happen. Two evolution chambers. Please actually do what I told you. Alright, we're doing good, we're doing good. We're going to have that thing up and running in no time. Um, I'll build... I'm going to get the drones ready for the hatcheries now. Which is kind of stupid considering how much money I still need for them. But... That was a dumb move. Uh, who are you? Oh. No, you need to be collecting minerals. And you... Go for that patch up there. Nah, that was stupid. I'm just going to keep these guys mining and I'll send them over when I actually have the resources with which to do it. But I'm not going crazy on units here. Um, range on them, speed on them. Going to need armor especially. Armor becomes very important when you're up against Protoss. And so does Adrenal Glands for the Zerglings. I need so many damn upgrades. I'm gonna have to continue building drones at the moment because I need so much more money. Uh, looks like pigs with big tusks. Yeah, they are pretty crazy looking. From Brisbane, I'm driving to West. Ah, uh, Birdsville, I've been there too. And then up to Mount Isa across the Cairns and then back down to Brizzy. So you're not gonna see a lot of the inland. Um, to be honest, you're not missing much. So you can go and see our emerald. Don't go anywhere near Shoalwater Bay. That place, just the name of it still terrifies me. Um, build me a creep colony. Shoalwater Bay is a horrible place. Um, so is Tully. I mean, they're pretty-ish, but all the insects, like the mozzies are about half a kilo each, and... Like, I'm not even joking, you smack a mozzie with your hand and you feel the impact. Wait a second. Oh! We've got one here too. Oops. Okay, completely forgot about that one. Um, they're okay. I'm gonna have to get more stuff down there though. One of the Ultralisks is gonna have to go and reinforce that position. Get down here, Mr. Ultralisk. Alright, I've got enough to start building some hatcheries now. So, let's start getting some little lings. Well, on the way to Berlin, I don't have to long reach. Okay, yeah. Um, is there any particular motivation for it, or you just thought it was time to see most of Australia? Australia. 
Australia, mate. Maybe you can go and meet up with the Robin from Punchy while you're there. I don't see why I'm saying while you're there. I mean, it's not like you're... Oh, I lost my other Zerglings. Ultralisk had to do it and he lost a fair bit of health too in the battle ensuing. Uh, give me a Queen's Nest. Cause I really need to get... I haven't even started these upgrades yet. Really need to get those adrenal glands on the Zerglings. <clears throat> get a few more Zerglings down there to back up the Ultralisk. And I have no ranged anything down there. Uh, how are you Zerglings doing? I've only got a couple of you. Okay, you are going... I don't think anyone's even attacked me here yet, have they? No. Okay, so if they're coming through this way... I'll build a hatchery here. And that should allow me to cover the southern approaches. Oh, that was one of them. Did you see that, Zeratul? We killed the Dark Templar. He screamed like a little bitch and ended his life. Kerrigan, what the hell are you doing? What is it now? I didn't hire you to sit on your ass all day. Uh, okay, we're looking good. We are looking good. We're looking like we're gonna kill some more Dark Templars. I'm um, looking for an outback town I like that I might be able to live in. Okay, also really no one else left the coast much farther than Tumble, but yeah, I mean, that's the weird thing about Australia. Like, we're basically just an urban, an urban centre, urban city. Urban population, sorry, I think we're the second most urbanised population in the world behind Singapore. Yes, Sarah Um, a little trick if you need to get some space. Build some stuff, and kill some stuff. It also looks pretty cool when you abort the, uh... Oh, okay, I don't have any more room there. Well, I got the Overlord, so... Kerrigan. Good, good, I'm happy with that. Got the Overlord, so I'll just make uh, something colonies. Uh, since you can't do anything else there, can you... Did the creep extend up here? I want to see how much creep I actually got. I was hoping I'd get some up here so I could build some, like, higher level stuff, but clearly not. You're done. Oh, these DTs are going to go nowhere. Uh, where did you go? I'm sure I sent a drone through that Nidus Canal. No. Really cool noise, these guys. Stop talking. Oh my god. That guy. Uh, yeah, the wind rushing through it, that just sounds like terrifying. Yeah, that will happen. Oh crap, maybe I should have built the one. Thank god, you guys are upgraded. Okay. okay, I don't like what you just did. So, let's see how many creep colonies I actually found. So there's gonna be one there, which means go up there, I'll put one back there. Uh, I want to see if I can fit two on top of each other, that'll be ideal. So you're there, you, one, two, one, two. Okay, I'll be able to fit one there as well. I'll turn one of these into a spore colony, just because they're clearly sending it air against me now. Um, I think I'll make you, uh, another sunken, another sunken. And I really, 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 really feel the need to... You can be the spore. I really do feel the need to upgrade the overboard antenna. Oh, wait, I just said I wanted upgraded zerglings. What the hell am I doing? I can't even move the zerglings down to support Mr. Ultra. It's a good mission this one. Okay, uh... 
or uh, maybe you guys. I need something up here to back up that something colony because he's going to get his butt kicked if I don't. Couple of more hydras. That's now morphing. That'll be the next upgrade. These require more minerals. Wow, a mineral pool. I don't even know what the extensions are in this one. And you can be a something colony too. See, that one's going well. That's actually expanded creep out. That has done sweet FA. I feel like it should be able to grow it underneath the lava to come out the other side. Maybe I should have built it in there. Wouldn't have been able to cover this area, and that's where I need to cover it. For the DTs. Well, whatever's happening, I'm absolutely going to need some Zergling cover. At some point very soon on most of the locations. Because nothing holds a Protoss Dragoon like a Zergling. Especially a Glanded Zergling. So we're getting ready to upgrade those glands. Well, that, okay, that didn't even go anywhere near the freaking... What if I move, if I move all you guys over here, then the second colony should be able to do their job. Right? You can come over there too. I feel like I really screwed up the placement of this one. I don't know, let's see if that works. Uh, you're all there, that's good. You guys can go and back them up. Uh, you're doing okay, but you need them. Hydralisks. Oh yeah. That's now coming. Uh, this is now coming. You guys are just going to keep skitzing out for the rest of the game now, aren't you? Uh, four Hydralisks there, I'm happy with that. I thought I tried to build Hydralisks elsewhere. Did I not? Must have been here. I've got four of them there now. Um, I'll be honest, I'm actually not even sure what the point of this mission is. What am I supposed to do? Oh, crap. Sorry, that was a mistake. Uh, objectives. Oh, I'm actually going to be destroying the Protoss bases. Let no Dark Templar escape. Okay, so they're in place at least for that. So why don't we get a spire? We're gonna try tested method. And um, while I'm doing this, I might even just oh no, I don't have money to go crazy with zerglings right now. I need a scout. I really do need a scout of some kind. And that'll be a queen. And let me get some speed for you. I didn't even do that yet. See? Zerglings. They are a Dragoon's worst freaking nightmare. Okay, so we've got a few more overlords. We're still waiting on that. I think I am. Oh, see, I'd like to mass produce Zerglings, but look at my gas compared to my minerals. I think it really shouldn't be a question of when I'm going to go build. I'm going to get two queens. They are having their energy capacity upgraded, and I'm absolutely going to need to get spawn broodlings as well, which is only 100 bucks. Our forces are under attack. Hey, Kerrigan's actually doing something now. Good to see. Uh, looking for an outback. Yep, yeah, already read that. Fun fact about Queensland, though, with the only Australian state, the population majority is not in the capital. I like that. I do like that. Um, kind of scary that Perth is not Western Australia is not considering how bloody big this place is. Three times the size of Texas, and all in one little location. Gosh. Uh, get down here. Hopefully he doesn't follow you all the way. That's uncomfortably close. Now he's probably going to die. Uh, that's now done. We can start upgrading that. You can upgrade. What just got completed? Ah. That's done. Oh, look at all that money. It's just flying out the door. I think I should send a bunch of Zerglings with a few hot to go and take that out. 
because it looks like it's even going to be an expansion, but it's, just, it's way too close to come. Way too close for comfort. So we'll send you guys in first. The scout will try and get a few shots off at you. Scouts. Maybe I should have sent more than three freaking Hygolus Tanker. Back you go. And wow, you guys are really committed to that one point. Uh, let's start with Mutilus. Uh, that's about time for me, guys. I'm going to have to call it for now. Lots of evolutions coming. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to call it for now. I'm going to go to my lunch date. And I'll come back and I'll just keep playing. Because the alternative is packing. And I just can't be asked. Oh, God. How many more other can I get? Start that. Okay. Serving it there. I'm gonna go to lunch. Getting burgers and cheesy fries. In Burzwood, we went to get a steak because some of the planes we used to fly the B three hundred and fifty King Airs, um, and we just had to burn hours off them. Basically, it'd be like you know the service has to happen at one hundred and fifty hours or something. We've flown one hundred and forty two, so we need to fly eight hours off in order to make the maintenance schedule, which says we have to do it by this day. And so we literally just say, right, where can we fly? Let's go to Burzwood. We got a good pub with a good steak. And uh, that's the only reason we went there. So, you know, like, obviously, pilot training as well. We'd get to fly the approaches and stuff. Just, you know, landing in foreign airports and things, which is always essential. But, yeah, we pretty much just went there to get a safe. It was not really more fancy than that. Uh, you know what? So while I've got resources, let's get scourges. And I quickly kill these scouts. Then I'm going to with my cheesy fries, my cheesy bacon fries. Oh, it's so good. Oh. You require more minerals. I love cheesy bacon fries. I am really running low on minerals here. Is under Another dragoon. dragoon. Uh, I want you guys to be patrolling in front of that. Facts. Evolution complete. Do that. Keep you active. Completed. Okay, the claws are now coming in. So things are becoming more deadly. Uh, I'm gonna F with these scouts really quickly. Then I'm gonna go to lunch. I have to go to lunch. Can't be late for lunch. Anti missiles just don't fire fast enough to catch them. Nice. Glad I put them on a patrol route. Uh, yo, come over here, do the Southern Scout. Oh, yeah. One thing I'd recommend, Biggest, depending on where you're going, if you have a chance, make sure you go to... Because the Antimatter Missiles are just going to mess my Mutalisks up. Their ground cannons are rubbish. If you get a chance to go... Um, oh, where was it? Warwick? I think it's called Warwick. If you have a chance to go anywhere near Warwick, be sure to check out uh, this little bakery or cafe. It, it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a roadhouse, but it's like an Italian restaurant house. It's called Vincenzo's. I don't know if you've been there, but it's marked by a gigantic apple. They had the best meat pie I've ever eaten in my entire life. It was a lamb red wine meat pie. I cannot even... They, words cannot describe how amazing this thing was. And they sell them frozen, so you can take a bunch with you as well. And they sell, like, chocolate liqueur. They sell Turkish Delight liqueur. Like, anything you can imagine, they have it there. So, absolutely, I would recommend checking out Vincenzo's if you can a trip. Ugh, don't kill Kerrigan. It is, um, so it's, like, northwest of Brisbane, I think. But well worth a look-see. Okay, that's it for me now. I'm going to pause it and I'll end the stream there. I'll come back and I'll do, um, see if I can finish the Zerg campaign today. All right, team. That's, uh, how do I do this? There's me. And I can end that. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you followed, I love you very much. Um, I had a notification that was going to be telling you who were followed from, uh, Streamlabs. I don't know if it's working. So if you did follow, thank you very much. I absolutely appreciate you. If not, um, I'll have to get someone to unsubscribe and re... Sorry, not sub, follow. I'll have to get someone to unfollow and refollow to see if that actually works. But um, I'll go to lunch. I'll be back in like an hour and a half. I'll try and finish StarCraft tonight. Catch you.